Well, hello to the First Baptist family and the friends of First Baptist. This is the midweek update for June 9th, 2021. And a couple of things I want to talk about today, but first of all, let me say thank you. Thank you for the May cereal collection. Not only did you bring cereal, but we invited our friends, our neighbors, our co-workers to be a part of that. And over 1,600 boxes of cereal were donated, and already I'm getting word from our Caring Center uh, clients and friends and volunteers that people are loving to come in and shop, the variety. You're helping to feed a lot of people this summer, and that is absolutely incredible. We made a decision 20 years ago that if we were going to stay in downtown, we were going to impact the community around us, and you were doing that. Now, as a part of that, thank you. This month, we're collecting jeans. Believe it or not, we're already getting ready for back to school. Um, we have to prepare now for we're going to be ready in August. So as you're out shopping, if you see some jeans on sale, especially student sizes, we could use those, and that will go toward our back to school push later on this year. And thank you for serving and serving our community well. A couple of things I want you to know about. If you're new around First Baptist, my pastor's coffee once a month is going to be June 27th. You can sign up online or call my office. Uh, but I want to talk to members, especially those of you who have unplugged from community and community groups during uh, the entire COVID time, during the global pandemic. So I want to offer you an opportunity to step back in and to form new community here at our church. So I'm leading a Fresh Start community group Sunday mornings, 945 Fellowship Hall. Had about 25 people this last week and the first launch, so it's not really big, but it's not really small. And this is a chance to build some relationships, and I would guess you know, several of these folks are, are really coming in from the outside that are, are new attenders. So it doesn't, doesn't matter if you're looking for a fresh start. If you're looking for a start, this is a place to plug in and get involved. Sunday morning, 945 Fellowship Hall, uh, and I'll be teaching that class for a few weeks. Now here's what I really want to talk about. We have a lot of staff changes going on at our church right now. Earlier this year, we had a couple of resignations. Coming up later this year, we have a few retirements. And I want to keep you as informed as I can about those changes and who is involved. So Bobby Hart uh, resigned as our chief operating officer, took a new job with the Baptist Foundation. And so Bobby stole a part of this church, but we, we have a gap there in our business office. One of the volunteers during this season of this gap was Steve Larry, And Steve is former chairman of Deacons, finance committee member, uh, vice treasurer, just just all around wonderful man. We know him, we know his leadership, we know his integrity. And he began to volunteer around the business office and some of the other personnel in the office began to say, wouldn't it be great if Steve became our business manager? They didn't know that we were already talking to Steve about that very thing. So Steve is a gentleman, he's a Christ follower, he's a man of integrity. Uh, he's gonna be leading our business office into the future. And so if you have questions about contributions, about giving, about um, maybe you have a request of the finance team, Steve would be the person to talk to, and I am thrilled, thrilled that he is on our staff. The next big change is Sabrina Thompson, our preschool minister for the last 15 years, is retiring. And so we'll talk about her replacement, what happens to, the, to our preschool ministry later. We do have somebody already in mind to become our new preschool associate. Um, well, I'll go ahead and tell you, it's Allison Walker. Allison has worked in our preschool ministry for the past two years. She is seminary trained. She has experience as a preschool children's minister, and she will be the new preschool associate in July. But first, Sabrina Thompson is gonna be retiring at the end of June. And so I want to encourage you to celebrate Sabrina, her ministry and her impact on your preschoolers and your family. Uh, the last Sunday in June, June 27th, we're gonna have a come and go reception all uh, Sunday morning in the preschool area. Would you stop by and would you express your gratitude and your thanks to Sabrina for her impact in impacting, at least in our church, 15 years of students coming through. And then of course, long before that, before she joined our staff. Sabrina will be missed on our staff, but um, we were talking in a staff meeting yesterday. She said, I'm still here. I'm going to be volunteering in preschool ministry. And I love that, that former staff members would stay here uh, where they planted their lives and continue to grow with this community. So a lot more changes that are coming up. I kind of want to pace those out for you. Uh, but I want you to welcome Steve to our, our staff. I want us to send off Sabrina with a lot of encouragement and a lot of gratitude. Thank you, as always, for letting me be your pastor. Thank you that we get to serve together. Uh, and this year we're looking at who we want to become as a church. As we worship together, we do community together, we serve together, we open up scripture together, and we grow. We continue to become 
until we completely become like Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you this week. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.